Assassin's Creed just added one of my new favorite features to the franchise. The latest release in the series, Assassin's Creed Mirage, has brought the franchise back to its roots while still managing to add in advancements to the game. My previous video features my initial thoughts on the game as I'm now about 8 hours into the game, but in this video, I'll focus on one brand new feature that I can't get enough of, and I'm not talking about pickpocketing, even though I find myself stealing from every NPC when given the chance. Eagle Vision has been a staple in the Assassin's Creed franchise since the very beginning, and Assassin's Creed Mirage has been able to add another layer to the feature, which I feel may be getting overlooked. For the first time ever, with Eagle Vision, we are now able to see enemy lines of sight, and what this does is it lets us know where the enemies are looking, but more importantly, where we can be without being spotted, which is crucial to stealth play. I've decided to dive into Mirage and compare it to another game in the series, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, just to see how helpful the line of sight feature is. If you enjoy this video and other Assassin's Creed comparisons, subscribe to the channel and check out one of my previous videos where I compared all of the logos in Assassin's Creed history. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. Yes, let us catch our breath. So I'm going to start with Mirage, just to kind of show you what's different, what I like, and really how this line of sight works. And right away you can see the orange pulse before everything changes to black and white. I love the colors that they used for this game, and it really makes it easy to see and move around when Eagle Vision is activated. You can see these guys right here, Eagle Vision toggled, and their line of sight is shown. Obviously they're not going to kill me outside of a restricted area, but that's the idea, and I'll show you how helpful it is in combat in a minute. But then it also highlights other interactives, which again is just easy to see when it's all black and white. Then of course it's really easy to see who has a lootable pouch on them for Bassam to pickpocket. So here we are at the Damascus Gate Prison in Mirage, and I just kind of want to test out where we can be and what boundaries we can push with the Eagle Vision. Obviously this guy right here is not going to see us if we sneak into the hay bale, sets up for an easy kill. Now I'm going to try and test it out in terms of range. Found a guy over here practicing his archery, but let's see how close we can get onto the side of him without getting noticed. Not too bad, but I, I think we can do a little bit better here. Let me try and get these guys. Oh, never mind. Okay, so these guys don't look like they're gonna snitch on me. Again, we'll see how close we can get to the side without getting noticed. Almost in front of him right now, and there we go. I'd say that was pretty accurate uh, once we got spotted in terms of where it said the line of sight was. One more thing with Mirage before I get into Black Flag is this new feature within Eagle Vision called Assassin's Focus. I won't spend too much time on it, but I'll show you how it works since it is a part of Eagle Vision in the game. I think it's really cool, but I know a lot of players aren't a big fan of it from what I've read. Basically, you activate it, select your targets, and then Bassam will basically teleport to the assassinations. The explanation behind this, from my understanding, is that the Animus can't keep up with how fast Bassam is, and that's why it looks like he's teleporting. I think it's useful and fun since we don't have the double assassination anymore. But here we are in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, my favorite game in the franchise, and you can see that Eagle Vision has come a long way in 10 years. While I still like this one, you can see that looking at these guys right here, they have to be manually pinged, which is fine, but it's really blurry and just hard to see while activated in general. You can see that the enemies don't have a line of sight displayed, but this little meter right here tells you how close you are to being spotted, which I think is still helpful. So let's test this out a little bit, kind of like how we did in Mirage. Obviously we see the guy on the roof right here. We can get him a ping once we get Eagle Vision activated. I'm not too sure how he doesn't quite see me yet, but that's an easy kill for us. Same thing with this guy over here. You're able to ping from pretty far away in this game, which is nice. I'm gonna try and walk along beside him until he notices me. And finally, there it is. And again, just not as clear as Mirage, in my opinion, with their line of sight visible. I'll try this one more time here. Got a ping on another guy on the roof. Again, doesn't look like he sees me at all. I'm gonna jump down. And he didn't hear that. Easy kill. <laughs> See if we can get a double kill on these guys right here. Another one. He was looking right at me. Somehow didn't see me standing right there. Try and get a double kill on these guys. Looks like they're looking straight ahead. They don't see me. Nobody seems to be concerned uh, about all the murder and plain sight going on right here. Except for maybe this group of gentlemen. And yep, there they are. Okay, enough of that. 
But that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel to become a part of the community and stay up to date with Assassin's Creed content. If you have any ideas or if you want to see any other features covered from Mirage, just comment below and I'll get back to you.